With our current cold spell, the increased use of space heaters and fireplaces will come with a risk unless they are used properly. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum is looking at heating safety in these chillier temperatures, and she's joining us live from San Marco, where a home burned before Thanksgiving. And Ashley, what caused that fire? So we're hearing that this house fire was caused by the fireplace area. And again, this time of year, we see more home fires than any other time. And that is because it's so cold and people are using those heaters, fireplaces, space heaters and whatnot. So we decided to go to JFRD's Randy Wise and ask him some advice for people for chilly nights like tonight. We've had a huge uh, uptick in fires here recently. Um, so, yeah, it's a good time to, to remember the issues that, that do occur when it gets cold. Uh, one of the fires we had over in uh, the Miramar area was actually due to a fireplace. So obviously you want to have your fireplace uh, inspected at least annually, make sure there's no cracks in the mortar, uh, that it's vented properly. More than 65,000 home fires are attributed to heating equipment each year. Hundreds die and thousands of people get injured because of this, not to mention property damage. Christmas time, so people like to burn candles. People burn candles all the time. But if you do have that accident, your smoke detector is your first line of defense to alert you, especially when you're sleeping, that there is a fire in your home. Uh, if you hear a smoke detector, the first thing you want to do is immediately you know, evacuate you, get your family out, make sure you have an area that you know to meet, so you make sure that everybody is out of the home, and at the same time call 911, let the firefighters come in and take care of that problem. So remember, space heaters need to be three feet away from anything flammable. Use the screen on your fireplace, check your smoke detectors, and make sure to change the batteries. Make a fire escape plan in case there's a fire. Have your heater checked annually by a professional. I also asked Wise about that funny smell you get when you are cranking on the heat. Normally it dissipates pretty quickly, but if that smell continues for a good while, call 911, make sure that the professionals come out and take a look at it. So another reminder for those of you, and, and Wise said that these aren't quite as popular, but you know the space heaters that you actually use kerosene to fill up, he said that make sure if you are putting fuel into those, you do that outside of your home. Do not fuel them inside of your home in case there's a fire. That would be very terrible um, because, again, if you spill some of that kerosene. Also, make sure that it cools all the way down before you refuel it. I'm live in San Marco, Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, The Local Station.